to recap, uh, you all were chasing the cult of the Whispering Way uh, to the town of Felgru, and along the way you met uh, the leader of the princes, the Prince Wolves. And uh, you all struck a deal to help him out since you had a mutual enemy. And he gave you a talisman that would uh, protect you from harm against, uh, you know, his tribe's wolves, werewolves. Uh, you get to town, uh, you decide to skirt around the outside of it and head immediately to the largest building. Which was um, a tower that overlooks uh, the town square. Uh, you met um, oh skeletons and a whispering way cultist and defeated. Defeated the skeletons and the archers from the tower. Upon entering the tower, uh, you discovered uh, a ruined brood and his two giant clawing hands, of which you defeated the hands. And uh, Darius, uh, we're still in the middle of combat, and it is your go, sir. Are we missing a player? Um, Lydia uh, hasn't yeah. reconnected yet. There we go. Uh -oh, oh, there sorry. we are. I just didn't select my character. What was the purple? I, I don't remember. The blue was a uh, web or something. But no. Yes, blue was cloud web. Kill. That's... Oh, we're standing in cloud kill. That's right. Yeah, and then uh, the other circle was the webbing and the red squares. Where it is burned burning. Off. All right, since Garrus hasn't learned to breathe poison yet. He's going to move out of the way. This tumor familiar will ride along with him. Actually, before he moves, he will chuck a bomb. You can't see. Yes, you are indeed blinded. <laughs> and my two will ride it out. And I'll just take him off the map. <laughs> And Selene, you're up. I'm going to run up. Is there a reason you're drawing a movement for my character? <laughs> I just thought it'd be more fun if we switched characters this session.
Uh, okay. Make reflex. Or is it something else for moving through it? Moving through the webs, combat maneuver check or escape earnest check. Um, on your uh, actions tab, I'm sorry, on your CMB square on the character sheet. Main yeah, tab. on your main tab, uh, underneath initiative, melee, ranged, uh, roll the CMB. Much better. <laughs> well, what square are you stopping, by the way? Pardon me? What square are you stopping in? Yeah. Right there, adjacent to uh, the enemy. You're in two squares right now. You're going to go there. My bad. Or down one. No, right there is correct. Okay. All right. Now you need to make a reflex save. You fall into the pit. There's a pit. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, then... Had I remembered that, I wouldn't have gone there. Uh, I'd forgotten that there was a pit there as well. Uh, if, if you want to back up... Uh, yep. <clears throat> I will definitely allow that. Yeah, if you if you end your turn beside the pit, you have to make a reflex saver fall in. I think that's where you were. In that area. Well, yeah, in that I... case, I'm just going to pass my turn. There's nothing I can do. You're standing in a cloud kill spell. That's the purple circle. Oh, for fuck's sake. Then I'm going to move. <laughs> it's like horrible death spells everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're good. Oh, it's a bub. Bub's not doing anything. It didn't give me a ding when it went to Bub's turn, though. That's weird. Oh, it gave me a ding on Lydia's turn. Maybe it's because he's not on the map. Could be. Well, I will move out of the Death Cloud. Um, jeez, I'm just going to move again, I think. Get really out of this cloud, because it moves. I 
Oh yeah, and my uh, fire expanded that round. So that's pretty much done. Okay, I'm gonna move the cloud there in the corner. So the the very edges of that for that web that I just deleted is still there, but it, it's just on it's all on fire. Okay. And And you said the very edges. Yeah. So, like, if he moves there, he would make the save. <laughs> or combat maneuver check or reflex save. Or escape burst. Jeez, I can never remember that shit. Uh, 19. 19, let me check. 19 <laughs> is the number he needs. <laughs> And let's see, and he can see Darius. And he's going to start casting a spell. Garrus will spell check or spellcraft to try to identify it. Uh, you know, he is casting Ray of Exhaustion. Which is a ranged touch attack. It does hit. Yeah, and you succeeded at your save. I think that's the first save I've ever passed. Uh, let's see. Exhaustion, uh, you're only fatigued. <laughs> so Darius will reply by throwing bombs at him. And Vrood is human, right? I think uh, yes. that last time. He is human. Damn. <laughs>
You're up, Selene. You gonna bring Bob out? No. Okay, Lydia. Ooh, that was a good roll. Did I miss something? Your turn. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you go after Lydia here. Okay. It doesn't really matter. There's nothing I can do anyway. Okay, so this web's completely gone. So is he standing in his cloud kill? Uh, you know, it does kind of look that way, don't it? <laughs> He is a rude. He's not afraid of cloud kill. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ready an action if he casts another spell. I'm going to cast a spell. And let's see. He's coming down just out of sight of the doorway. Okay, so we'll take a five foot step. Did he do anything? Uh, not that you could see. Could I hear him? Uh, you can roll a perception check. And no, you're not hearing anything. Probably okay. ringing in your ears from the explosions. Alright, so I'm, again, going to chuck bombs at him unless he has a surprise to unleash on me. Uh... No, he does not. We actually missed. God damn it. You feeling happy there, Darius? <laughs> well, not only did we take him down, we didn't even kill him. We had to interrogate him. Well, you still got to do your damage for your other one. I missed on it. Oh, I guess I, it's going to sorry, it's going to do one point of damage to him because of splash damage. Or no, I guess he gets to save. Well, I think you might get a save too, depending on which square it lands in. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he made his save. All right, so he takes only... Ah, uh, where is it? He takes four points of damage. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you have dropped the bad guy. <laughs> And you defeated the uh, archers that were on the roof, so uh, there are no more inhabitants of this tower, currently. Garrus is going to go over, hmm, do we want to try to stabilize him to question him? Do we have questions for him? Well, I mean, he was, we, I he was mentioned in the journals, right? By yes, um, yes, yeah. So, oh, but did he introduce himself as Aaron? Or yeah, I was going to say that he introduced himself. <laughs> Wait, I can't remember if he map. told us his name. Yeah, I can't remember if he, you know, he monologued at us. Uh, no, I uh, I think he just attacked when you all started entering. Um, uh, it is clear. See if he's got a wallet. Yeah, it's clear that he's probably uh, the cult leader for this region. All right, so Darius will try to stabilize him. You know, he's got an extra piece of bling on his robe that, you know, the other ones don't have. Okay, uh, yes, uh, you do manage to uh, stabilize him. Are you seeing my uh, PM, Wintermoot? Uh, yes. I don't get it, but I saw it. <laughs> it was just the test. Okay. So, yes, uh, he is now stable. Uh, then I think we should probably tie him up. I guess I can use the rope of climbing to do that because at some point we picked up a rope of climbing. Uh, yeah, that's uh not a problem at all, Celine. Um, if you can give me just a second, um. When you all went straight to the tower, effectively, you skipped most of this chapter. <laughs> uh, you went straight to the big, big bad guy. Um, we did that in Kingmaker, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was like, okay, uh, the town... All the town inhabitants have gone missing. The town's empty. Uh, you found some blood stains, and it's like, now what do you want to do? We're like, well, we're gonna search for the town people. They're fucking missing. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, the, we're the leaders of this kingdom, and he's like, okay, and we followed it. And it was like, one session later, we were at the big bath boss bad guy. And he was like, okay, you're done the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like two sessions. We're like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, anyway, Selene's not feeling good, and it's gonna bail, but. Uh, Yes, uh, we're, we'll just do a little bit more uh, role-playing, cleaning up the town, and go over to the discoveries. Uh, okay. You, then, you, uh, will need, you will need to be prepared to uh, level up for next week. That's okay. Um, I mean, she just hits things anyway, so it'd be easy for her just to follow you around without talking for this session. Um, so I'll just let the, our beloved GM just direct her. Is that all right? Yeah, man. Sorry. I have been sick as hell all week, and I thought I could play today, but as soon as I sat down, I started feeling like ass again. So yeah, I was um, sick all weekend. I know how you feel. Alrighty. So I apologize, guys, but I'll be here next week. Yeah, not a problem, man. Hope Take you feel care, better. Guys.
Yeah. Take care, guys. Later. Yeah, feel better. User disconnected from your channel. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we were playing. It was level four, uh, the Midnight Mirror. And in the level three adventure, the Barbarian had gotten an adamantine hammer. And they go into this house and he's like, you know, screw the door. I'm going through the wall, which contain you know the big bad guy and his secret evil lair <laughs> shot yeah, that like... adventure really quick i'm like damn uh, you, you would think that they would hear him hammering on the wall and be like what the fuck is that oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh... I, I did that in one game though we we had a we had a um it was like we were walking down a hallway and the hallway had uh, another hallway running parallel to that, and right where we came into the hallway at the entrance, it was um, a jail cell on the other side of that wall there. And when we walked around to the far end of the hallway, which is where you can get into the parallel hallway, uh, it was um, had some permanent spell in it that blinded people and made them confused when you walked into it. And so I was like, um, I've got a sledgehammer on me. I'm just going to start sl slamming the wall. <laughs> so I just busted down the wall instead of doing what you're supposed to do to get through the spell. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah. The DM was like, well, I mean, it's a smart way to do it. Like, why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> uh, absolutely. Reward creative thinking. <laughs> yeah, that was um, Dragon's Demand. That's what that was. Have you done that one? Uh, yes. Uh, Saturday night game. Uh, we. Do, do you that remember? Do you remember the Shadow started. Girl? She was like from the uh, Elemental Plane of Shadows. Uh, yeah, she was uh one of the inhabitants of the town, right? Well, that was where you found her. She was be being held prisoner there. She couldn't get out because of the permanent light spell that was on the right. hallway. So that's why I just smashed my way through the wall, because it was easy. <laughs> uh, it seemed like, well, it was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, I'm assuming you're all going to interrogate Mr. Brood. Yeah, let's, uh, uh, sorry, just let's take away any items he has on him and any spell components or anything of that nature. Yeah, I'm going to walk over to Spellcraft on him and see, if he's got, see what he's got and take all the magical stuff. Because that's a good idea. I don't want to leave him with magic stuff on him. <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah, if you give me a few minutes, I'll end up dragging all this crap over to the party sheet, but... Uh, he's got a, uh, plus one quarter staff, an amulet of natural armor, plus one, cloak of resistance, plus two, bring of protection, plus one, his spell book, and a component pouch, and an amulet of the whispering way. <gasps> Imagine that. <sighs> Stolen. Now, ambulance of the Whispering Way are those um. Oh, shit, what's the word? Uh, like a divine thing for a god, or are they just symbols of an organization? Uh, I believe they are just symbols of the organization. Holy symbol. That's the one I was thinking of. If if it is a holy symbol, I I don't know if it is or not, but I, I will break it in half so that it can't be used anymore. Okay, uh, you manage to break it in half, and nothing bad happens to you. Just in case. Yet. Yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... You wake him up and, you know, uh, after confirming his identity, you know, he does say that he's in charge of uh, 
this region's uh, whispering way. Who's that? <laughs> Who's Tarbap on? He's the whispering tyrant. He's the, you know, super-powered lich that the Whispering Way worships. Oh. Uh, when he was the super sorcerer, that's who Arden killed. And he came back as a lich, and that's and that's when he invaded Ustalav and Belkson. And... See, that's, that's my ultimate endgame plan. I'm going to turn Bob into a super-powerful lich. <laughs> <laughs> um... Can you imagine goes, a giant uh, skeletal uh, chicken lich? That would be hilarious. Uh, he uh, says, I don't know why I've completed my mission. And what was your mission? Yeah, we'll fake some dice rolls here. Um, okay, Brood has... Uh, we, we, we don't need to. I've, I've got cheats for this. Okay. Are you my friend? <laughs> no, he's not. Are you my friend now? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Are you my friend now? <laughs> Nope. Nope. <laughs> God damn, stop rolling so good, Winter. He probably is a really high now. will save. Damn it! <laughs> you need higher than DC 16. Well, I'm not specialized in charm. <laughs> Alright, I can do it three more times. How about now? Oh my god, a 28? That means he's got at least plus... Nine. <laughs> well, no, it was <sighs> plus eight. Oh, two twenty-eight. Oh my fucking god! There we ha! go. You're my friend. With my final save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think by then he would be immune to it. <laughs> hey, that's not how it works. <laughs> you know what he's doing by then. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, and since you've, um, you know, since you got to try a spell, can I try a spell? <laughs> no, you're tied up. <laughs> That's why we took your spell components away. Yes, I'm your friend. Are wow. you my friend? <laughs> well, friend, yes, of course. Now, why don't you tell me about uh, you know, the, the things you needed to do here, and if you have anything left to do, I can, of course, help you with that. I want to make sure that you get it done, because we're friends. Well, I appreciate that, friend. Um, he had uh, a couple of orders. Um, first, his his first primary order was uh, stilling the heart of the Pack Lord. And where, where uh, is that, by the way? Did we find that? Um, yes and no. Uh, you have not found it right now. <laughs> My friend, where is the heart, by the way? You were very good at stealing it. I would love to see it. Uh, well, friend, you're just too late. Uh, it's already been sent out to, uh, Thrushmore. Along with the other items. Was it sent to a specific place in Thrushmore? I'll, I'll have to go visit. Uh, the writers, uh... Let's see...
Yeah, it was sent to our headquarters in Thrushmore. Ah, excellent. Thank you very much. And, you know, he tells you enough to be able to find it. Um, yes, I appreciate uh, the help. You're a good friend. Well, thank you, friend. <laughs> But yes, uh, he sent that off as well as the other items to Thrushmore. Ask the, him what the Whispering Way is planning. What are they doing with the items? Yes, friend. What 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 are your plans? Uh, I will do my best to assist you. As a friend, how could I do anything else? Well, my plans were to uh, get the Pack Lord's heart, as I have done, and per my orders, I was to raise an army of the undead. Who's giving you your orders? Friend. <laughs> I, I'll relay that through uh, Lydia. I'm not his friend. I don't think it works for me. <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> Don't you You're the one who spell tried me Winter? <laughs> I'm sorry. What'd you say, Vok? Oh, I said, "Don't you love my spellcaster, Winter?" <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> hey, man, I I offered to I offered to change it. Hey, that's okay. I have Cthulhu the next round. So. Yeah, I, I saw Cthulhu. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell? We ain't fighting that anytime soon." <laughs> So how many level ups do we get since we skipped the chapter? Is it like three? Uh, no, you're, uh, yeah. Uh, you basically skipped everything to go from eight to nine. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, he talks about, um, uh, he was told to raise an army of the dead as well as, um, Gathering the bones of the innocent. And. The, oh, uh, and where are you keeping those? Friend. Friend. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. He was instructed to steal the heart and as well as con construct a skull from the bones of corpses buried here in Felgru. Um, he has constructed the skull. Um, he got the Pack Lord's heart and as well as the the sausage effigy that you know um, Leyland had stolen from the museum at the University of Lippistat. Uh, all those were given to two riders and sent to the town of Thrushmore as part of a trade for a second object whose nature remains unknown. And finally, he was ordered while he was there uh, to raise an, an army of the undead for later use. Friend. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Thank you. A anything else that we would like to know that you would love to tell us? Um, no, not really. <laughs> That doesn't sound like the truth at all. <laughs> well, it's probably the truth. Yeah, so uh, there's nothing else I'd really like to tell you, friend. <laughs> Are there some things that you wouldn't like to tell us? 
<laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> well, I mean, we're such good friends. I would love to know everything about you. Why don't you tell me about your life starting from one year ago? Don't leave anything out. This last this spell lasts for eight hours. We get plenty of time, friend. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, you know, I guess it all started back when I was eight years old. Uh, you know, when Count Nesca's troops tore through the land and slaughtered, slaughtered my family and they salted the fields and they left behind this wasteland of death and destruction. I survived only by burying myself beneath the corpses of the fallen. And when people come looking for survivors, he, uh, I hid in the muddy trenches of the pharaohs, and, you know, I was abandoned. And for years I lived as an orphan, scavenging what I could from the corpses and fighting with the rats for food. And, you know, uh, I only spoke to the bones of the soldiers that lay in the muddy ditches. And, you know, as the years passed, I could feel my mind slipping, and the dead started speaking back to me. And it's I would... possible that your friends abandoned you because you told stories like this. <laughs> and uh, I, I would lurk beneath uh, bridges or in trenches and lay traps to uh, topple passing horses and. When their riders would fall, I would slit their throats and take their possessions. And, you know, I buried them in the fallows alongside their kin. And, you know, there's times when food was scarce, so I would eat them instead. Shall I continue? <laughs> yes, I'm very interested. We got another three hours to kill anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, each day, the whispers of the dead become louder, until one day a rider appeared, halting her steed only moments before I was ready to strike. And the rider was gray-skinned and withered like a corpse, and in a dry and throaty whisper, the rider commanded me to come out from hiding and face her judgment. A ruined brood... The writer said, the spirits of this place have told me about you. Worry not, for you have a greater role to play. So, Are, I, are you making this up as you go? Yeah, I'm damn good, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so I accompanied the writer, and uh, we headed into... Uh, the country and onto the ominous town of Renchurch. There, I took up the study of the dark arts, dark arts of necromancy, under the able tutorage of my ghoulish savior. And I only knew him by the name of Yarsa Nine Eyes. And when I completed my training, um, I met an ambitious and brilliant practitioner of necromancy uh, named Advisen, who sought similar goals. Um, he offered me an, apprentice, an apprenticeship and a position of command in the Cult of the Whispering Way. And um, under my leadership, you know, uh, we collected the bone samples needed from the dead here in town. We got the Pack Lord's Heart and the other comp components of the Carrion Crown so far. And we shipped them all off to Thrushmore. And... Uh, when we were done raising the dead into an army, we were planning on marching triumphantly to Gallowspear to take our place beside the risen Whispering Tyrant. 
And that is my story, sir. Friend. It sounds like you skipped a couple of years there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write it. <laughs> So, uh, he referenced the Carrion Crown, of which uh, I don't think we've ever talked about. And as you're rummaging around the tower, I want to share, not point, uh, you come across the poem. And... Midways down, you see, with the pack lord's heart, beasts shall wake. Um, there's a part of a hundred slain lie innocent. Grind the bone and marrow to cement. Now craft a skull of splintered graves. Okay. Which sounds familiar to what you all just went through. We're on the right track. The poem said so. Yes, yes it did. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, do you have any more questions for him, Darius? No, I'm not sure if we can get very much more out of him. Well, what would you like to do with him, Darius? By rights, we should take him back. Be tried. By who? By the local magistrate. By I don't think he's done anything illegal against the local uh, human populace. The werewolves, however, he's wronged. I, I suspect that just being a member of the Whispering Way is probably a crime in Ustalab, but there's that option too. You're right, we could turn him over to the werewolves. We do have something of an alliance with them, and they have their own system of justice that might be a fair option well considering that their um, political ways of getting a new leader is eating the previous leader I'm not sure I want to know what they do to criminals <laughs> I doubt anything good would happen to him but he's probably about We're gonna as find wretched out, a man as exists well it will give us some good uh, reputation with them at least so let's grab him and take him back to the werewolves. And Darius can move with that. Plus okay. he stuck us in a cloud of poison, the bastard. Let's talk about what you find in the tower. Okay, cool. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do detect magic as I search the tower as well. I love magical trinkets. Don't want to miss oh, anything. Shoot. Okay. Uh, in one room, you find 2,250 gold pieces and a scroll of control undead. Cool. Yeah, and that's what you find in the tower. Yeah, that was it. Uh, originally, you found uh, 50 pounds of silver dust and um, 
2,000 gold pieces worth of onyx gemstones. Um, Knowledge Arcana check would uh, recognize the silver dust and the onyxes as material components for desecrate and animate dead skills. I just went ahead and gave you the gold piece. 